Hi guys, we're going to start our last section of this chapter. So on Wednesday, you'll have a quiz, Thursday, a review, and Friday, a test. Um, geometry, I mean, you're using your notes, so it's so important to take good notes. Um, I'm trying to think, we are going to need our calculators for this one. And I kind of want you to think about the Pythagorean theorem a little bit as you're doing this. So as you can see, we've got this uh, x squared, y squared equals something squared. Same thing here. So kind of think of it like that. Pythagorean theorem ask. R is going to be our radius. R is equal to your radius. And this is going to be your center points, your H and K of center. Okay, so there's actually a standard form of, of a circle. Okay, so it's saying with a center at H, K and a radius of R. So it's at H, I'm sorry, X minus H and y minus k equals radius squared. The standard form of the equation of a circle is also called the center rate form. Okay, so with the center at 0, 0, we end up with this. Okay, we just... We'll see that in action in a second. So, write the equation of the circle with the center here, here, and a radius of here. So our, since this is zero, so it's x minus zero squared plus y minus zero squared equals six squared. Okay, so here, Nothing really happens. You just end up with x squared plus y squared equals 6 squared, which is 36, and we're done. It's more of a format than actual solving something. Um, write the equation of the circle with a center. So this is going to be my h and my k. Remember, uh, da, 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 I think we're okay. Since they're minuses, it's going to be the opposite. Okay, so here's your diameter, so my radius is going to be 7. So let's plug it in. x minus 3 squared plus y minus minus 3, so that would make that a positive 3 squared, equals 7 squared. The only thing we can do at this point is solve the end, because it's the only thing we can solve right now. So this is going to be my final answer. And again, it's more of a format than anything. So if I had this circle here, and I wanted to do the same thing, my R is equal to 2. This is my H and K. And that is at 1, 1, 2, 3 is my H and K. So now plug it back in. So X minus 1 squared is equal to my oh, plus, sorry, Y minus 3 squared equals 2 squared. And then again, simplify that just by replacing that end with a 4. So you can do it with just values and you can be look you can look at a graph and also get it. Okay? Now, let's try this one. State the coordinates of the center, oops, and the measure of the radius. Okay, so this one, let me straighten up here. 
we need to solve for zero. So we're going to add 16 to both sides. So x squared plus y squared equals 16. So this looks like it's going to be at zero, zero, because there's nothing here. So this is going to be zero, zero, and then this is going to be the square root of 16. So my radius is equal to four. And that's it. That one was easy. Okay, so remember, uh, this is minus, right? So it's the opposite of. Opposite of. Because the original formula says minus, so this is a minus minus 2, so my x must have been a positive 2, and my y would be the opposite of negative 3. My radius is going to be the square root of that, which is 2. Oh, I guess I should have graphed it. Let's graph. So my center, my radius, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, a terrible circle. It looks like a ice cube. <laughs> All right, same thing on this one. So go 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 3. My radius is 2, 2, 2, 2. Come on, Kathy, make a decent circle. Yikes. All right, let's try this one. So we have electricity. Strategically located at substations are extremely important in the transmission and distribution of a power company's electric supply. That is so true. Suppose you have three of these substations. They're modeled by the points 3, 6, 2, 3, 6, negative 2, 1, I guess I should, um, 3, negative 4, here, F. Determine the location of a town equidistant from all of these three. So, I would probably... Connect these, connect these, and see where my center is, which is right here. Okay, so so that would be the point of equidistance. And what point is that? One, two, three, one. My radius is one, two, three, four, five. And now I can write that equation for my um, programmers. x minus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 25, because I need to square that. That's it. All right. Made it. If you have any questions, again, please let me know.